wait for some people to get on the live. What is up, everybody? Happy 4th of July. Welcome to the live, pal. J&J Toy Giants here. I haven't done a live in a while. <clears throat> For whatever reason, just been not been able to make the time. Well, I could have made the time, but life happens, y'all. Happy 4th of July, Miss Pack Expert. Uh, I'm going to be uh, going over some uh, loose figures that I have gotten within the past few months that I've been meaning to kind of go over but for whatever reason just never at the time um, so basically if you guys are just joining the live and you don't know what a loose figure is basically like if you buy like, let's just say a Funko Pop right this is what's called mint in box or mock if it's on a card you know so mint on card so loose figures are basically action figures that you get or you buy that are not in the box. So for those of you that play <clears throat> on our YouTube channel or join in the live now, that is what a loose figure is. The first one that I'm gonna be going over today is part of the Masters of the Universe line. <clears throat> and this is brand this is one of the brand new toys that are out now from Netflix series, not Masters of the Universe Revelation that Kevin Smith made, because that actually is different. <clears throat> um, this is a, the the little more cartoony uh, Masters of the Universe for like a new generation. I particularly never like watched. I saw the trailers and I maybe watched like a couple of clips. For me, <clears throat> maybe I just because I'm just a uh, uh, boomer, I guess, what the kids say today. I'm not really a big fan of the animation, you know, of how they look, you know, but I basically will collect the toys if it's been like, I'll, I'll, I wouldn't buy it myself, but like if somebody bought it for me, I definitely would, you know, keep it and display it. So this is a man at arms. So man at arms is... And I really appreciate the likes, Ms. Pack Esper. Thank you so very much. So Mad at Arms is basically like the general of Eternia's, um, you know, army. He is the one that basically, uh, you know, runs the runs the army to be able to protect uh, the sorceress and the king and queen from Skeletor or any villain that is trying to attack the castle. And because I am a big fan of the original cartoon, this is basically what he looks like from the 80s. So you can see that they have some type of, you know, look, uh, the same look that they had before. They're just modernizing it for a newer generation. Now, this is actually not the original one from the 80s. This is actually came out from the re-releases that they started to produce back in 2019. Uh, I am trying to get either loose or mock, probably going to be loose, of all, all of the first like few series of the original uh, figures. Now, I know that they're probably not going to be that great, look, great looking like this. I probably won't be able to get any of the weapons if they, if at all, even maybe like this armor that comes out. Uh, that's basically put on man at arms uh, you can actually take this off however you cannot take off the armor on this version uh, it's just basically how it's molded for the actual toy except for the uh, the weapon the weapon is actually something you can take off or you know but as you can see here they look somewhat similar just a newer version of man at arms and uh, there's actually the soldiers, they basically look just like this. The only difference is that they don't have the mustache, which basically shows that differentiates man at arms from the reg regular soldiers. Um, so these are kind of like basic figures. And when I say basic is they don't really have that much articulation in the figure. So you can see here, even though you can kind of like move the legs out this way, they don't really give you a lot of 
room to work with just just because of the way that the actual mold is um, on the figure. So you can move the arm up and down. There's no articulation at the elbow or the wrist. Actually, no, there is a one uh, articulation in the wrist, my bad. Um, and you can go up and down on the right and then twist the uh, wrist, but no articulation at the elbows. Same thing with the original one. So they kept, they kept the articulation pretty uh, the same. Now, the only difference is with this one is that with the older ones, they had articulation at the knees, which this one does not. So this, this was what I basically would call a basic figure. It doesn't really have that much of uh, articulation. And <laughs> this one is very, very hard to stand up by itself. As you can see, there we go. So you can see that is what it would look like if you were to display it. Um, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the new uh, animation. I've seen a couple of clips, but I'm still a fan of, of the actual property. Um, I actually just, if you have, haven't watched the, uh, the newest video that I did about a couple weeks back. Oops, see, see I told you. He wasn't going to stand up. I just did uh, the unboxing of this bad boy here. This is the Masters of the Universe um, figures that were ca came out uh, back in 2002 when they were trying to revamp and give a new image to He-Man and the Masters of the Universe back in 2002 when they had that series going on. Um, so go ahead and check it out on our YouTube channel if you guys want to watch that. Thank you so very much. Andrew, thank you so very much, man. <laughs> you sharted? That's cool. <laughs> Never actually had anybody say that on live. Uh, but yeah, I mean, essentially, this is, if you want to watch the uh, full uh, video review of this toy unboxing, go on over to our YouTube channel. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe. And of course, going back to this one, like I said, it's very, very hard to stand up. He just fell. I had him pretty good, but then I think what happens is that the the mallet that he ha holds for his weapon is has a lot of weight so it's going to make him try to fall forward you see what i mean so it does come with some peg holes and one of the things that i've noticed about figure collecting is that not every peg hole is the same so you don't you can't get like the same um type of stand for each figure they're not all going to be the same so you kind of have to pick and choose and try to see which ones are going to work so like I have these, I, this is one of the first figure stands that I bought uh, for my figures. And let me see if this one works. It does not work. These I actually got for like my GI Joes and stuff. Let me see if this one works. No, it doesn't work. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to look at trying to find some stands for the Masters of the Universe figures. But this is uh, Matted Arms. So you can see here. The only thing I wish that they would have been able to do is to be able to take the helmet off. You know what I mean? That would have been sweet to have. Uh, you know, it's just an extra feature for the figure, you know, just for playability. But. You know, they may have some other figures coming out for this. I haven't seen any specifically for the newer Man at Arms. Um, but yeah, so the next one that I'm going to be going over. That I, and oh, by the way, I got this particular figure. My son bought it for me at a Goodwill. So sometimes it's a hit or miss depending on where you go find figures. Like if you go to like a thrift store or like a Goodwill, uh, you may find some cool more than likely you're probably going to find them loose not in the package um, but I've had this for a few months now I just never got around to actually doing a review for it for this particular figure but yeah you may f find some toys uh, for good pricing at like a Goodwill um, also like Ross or TJ Maxx you may have you may find some uh, figures there that are good you know are already in the card um, at a Goodwill, you're more than likely you're probably going to find them loose or like a thrift store or a uh, retro toy store. They may have them, you know, loose in like a bin or something like that. 
Uh, but you may get lucky and like a goodwill. So de definitely check those out. So the I wanted to go over that I got, that my son got me at Goodwill is Skeletor. So uh, this is the new Skeletor from the Netflix series that is uh, on Netflix right now. I don't, I think they're like on the second season or something like that. I haven't really checked, but this is basically what he looks like now. Um, this is not the battle armor Skeletor. I believe this is just a regular Skeletor for the beginning of the series, because as you probably notice if you're big, you know, Masters of the Universe fan. They've come out with different versions of, like, He-Man and Skeletor, mainly. Uh, like, you know, regular Skeletor, He-Man. Um, what was the other one? Battle Armor, Skeletor, and He-Man. The difference is that uh, they have this little chest piece that they, they wear that you can kind of, you know, scroll down. And it shows that they have, like, some Battle Armor damage, you know, like if they're in a fight. So this is the uh, Skeletor here. Um, not that much articulation because of the, the shoulder pads that he has on. So you really can't really move him, move his arms up and down that great. His uh, legs, just like the matted arms, legs go up, down, to the side. Uh, no articulation at the knees or at the at the ankles. You can only just rotate it. You can't like you know bend it up like other figures. So, posability is probably going to be a problem because these are kind of heavy, like top heavy. Um, so, th this is actually my original one. Again, this is from the re-release that came out about a few years back. And this is my generation Skeletor. This is the one I remember having. I had the original ones, uh, He-Man and Skeletor, when I was a kid. I got them for Christmas. My dad um, got them for me. And so, that's basically what Skeletor really looks like from the old 80s. Um, I'm trying to find the Skeletor that was um, debuted for the New Adventures of He-Man. That was in the late 80s where they were trying to kind of bring back He-Man in a different way before the 2002 version. I don't presently have any of those um, figures. Um, I did see them in the Masterverse line that Mattel had put out. And by the way, if you guys haven't uh, realized, these are actually made from Mattel. So Mattel, you know, has made like Barbie, uh, you know, WWE figures and stuff like that. But uh, Mattel had re-released all of the original figures uh, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. They're, they're, you're still seeing some some of the Masterverse uh, line, which is more articulative, um, kind of like something like this, but in a grander scale. And so you can kind of see like the newer version of Skeletor. You can't really see his face, you know. They kind of have it covered, this little hood that he has. Um, but yeah, I mean, essentially, the I'm just a bigger fan for these rather than these. Um, put him back over here. I had him on my display. Okie dokie. So going back to what I was saying is this is basically one of the uh, the newer versions of the uh, Skeletor figures there is the one that was from the Masterverse series I actually did I did get that um, and I will see if I can get it yeah he's he's way in the back over there so I don't want to mess up my display but uh, yeah I mean definitely this is for like the more younger generation um, the Masters of the Universe Revelation, which is the one that Kevin Smith made, that one is a little bit mm, more mature. Not like, you know, teens or anything like that, but it's definitely more mature than like a five, six-year-old that would normally wa watch something like this. Um, you know, there's a lot more violence in there and stuff like that. So you want to, as a parent, you know, I'm, I have two kids, so I always want to make sure that I'm always watching what they're watching to make sure that they're not, you know, Lots of stuff that are too out there. But yeah, you can see this is basically how Skeletor looks in the new cartoon that's on Netflix. Um, I might give it another try, you know, this weekend or something like that. Uh, who knows? But I'm, I'm just a more... I, I came up from the 80s, so the, the my Skeletor is more of the original. Oh, appreciate it. Welcome to the live. So I just uh, reviewed this Skeletor. I also reviewed... 
this man at arms for those who are just joining us right now. And um, as I said previously, uh, I'm not a really big fan of the newer generation of the He-Man that's on Netflix. I'm more of an old school guy. Like these are the ones that I like. These are the ones that I grew up with back in the day. Uh, the Masters of the Universe, you know. Uh, when the 2002 version came out, like this He-Man right here, this is the Smash Blade He-Man. And when they, I actually did a uh, review on net, on my not Netflix, but my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to check out our uh, link tree in our bio, um, you can see that this is one of the most recent toy uh, boxes that I did recently. So it was about a couple weeks ago. But yeah, I mean, this was for like the newer generation in 2002. By that time, I'd already been, um, I was 21 at the time. So I wasn't, wasn't really watching a lot of cartoons back then. But I kind of kept, I kept up with it just to kind of because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I'm a fan. So naturally, I, I was always going to at least take a look at it to see what it looked like, what the kind of stories they were telling or if they were retelling the same story all over again. Um, all right, so that is that for those. But thank you so very much, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch. See you later, guys. Keep on cruising.